Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of Fundamentals of IoT, in short FIOT. In today's class, we are going to learn the advantages of Sensor Cloud. Already we have seen what is a Sensor Cloud, right? Today we are going to see the advantages of it, okay? So, Cloud Computing is, or the Sensor Cloud is, very, very encouraging solution for the Sensor Cloud infrastructure. Like, uh, to keep it simple, Whenever we are trying to gather the data from several physical sensors, all the data will be stored in a cloud or a virtual form, a virtual form in using an internet. And that particular data, which is stored in the virtual form, okay, can be fetched whenever necessary by the end users through an application or a website or a graphical user interface or an apps. Okay. So, this particular sensor cloud infrastructure is very much encouraging and very much advantageous due to several regions like reliability, portability, real time, flexibility, and many more options are there. Uh, among all these, let's see some of the advantages. Okay. So almost 10 to 12 advantages I have uh, put on. You can write, take the notes. Okay. So the first advantage is analysis. So, the integration of huge accumulated sensor data, as we are gathering all the sensor data and putting it in a virtual form, okay? So, this helps in integration of huge accumulated sensor data, that too from several sensor networks. So, we, uh, there might be so many applications, each application may be having several sensors, all the sensor data can be gathered together and accumulated together, okay, using several sensor networks and using this particular cloud computing, we can also analyze, okay, and or we can also gather that particular data, okay, in order to analyze that. Next comes the scalability, okay. So, as huge amount of data should be stored in this particular, uh, particular virtual cloud or an uh, virtual storage or a PC, okay? So, sensor cloud enables the uh, earlier sensor network, okay, to scale on very large size, okay? So, it will be always ready to scale on very large size in order to store the huge amount of data coming from the sensors in real time, okay? Next comes, next advantage is collaboration. So, so this particular sensor data, which is already stored in the sensor cloud, okay, this data can be shared in different groups of consumers, okay. So uh, this can be linked to various applications or various websites or various apps through which the data can be shared. So the collaboration can be done through this particular sensor cloud, so that it will be easy for the several users to uh, use this particular data for various applications through cloud, okay? Next comes visualizations. See, in order to see this particular sensor data in the graphical form or some sort of uh, any kind of uh, interface kind of thing, okay? Visualization is one of the important advantage in this particular sensor cloud. So, it will provide a visualization, a visualization API such that uh, the users can access this particular data in the form of diagrams, graphs, and several design assets, okay? So, there are, uh, there are so many visualization uh, tools available in the APIs. So, with the help of that, the cloud sensor or the sensor cloud data is very much uh, creatively seen over the user interface, okay? Next advantage is pre-provisioning of increased data storage and processing of power, okay? So, most of the organizations, okay, put their data. So, like uh, most of the organizations share their data or put their data in uh, data storage or the data clouds, okay, which is free of cost. So, most of the sensor data can be easily accessed or you can consider it as an open source, okay? So, which helps the uh, data to be handled in large-scale applications, okay? Next advantage is dynamic 
provisioning of services. So users of Sensor Cloud can access their particular relevant information and whatever the information they want, whenever they want, okay? So they can uh, access that particular data sitting in that particular place itself, okay? This is just happening with the help of a virtual uh, storage device or a virtual PC connected to an internet, okay? Next advantage is multi-tenancy. So multi-tenancy is the number of services from several service providers can be easily integrated. So more number of services from different service providers can be easily integrated to this particular sensor cloud with the help of internet, okay? So based on the user demands, okay, several services or more number of services can be uh, provided at a time and users can easily access that particular data from anywhere uh, of the world, okay? or throughout the world. Next advantage is automation. So this automation is one of the important and vital role, okay, nowadays uh, with respect to the sensor cloud computing services, okay. So this particular automation of services improved the delivery of time, okay, very much. So automation uh, is always in any technology automation or the automated process is very much helpful in any kind of process. Similarly, in uh, this particular cloud computing also or the sensor cloud uh, mode also automation plays a vital role. Next advantage is flexibility. So sensor cloud provides more flexibility to the users. Like uh, they can access uh, or they, they can have the flexibility use the uh, random applications and they can use any number of times they want, okay? Then they can uh, open and close the applications whenever they need it, okay? And they can use according to their flexibility or the requirement. So flexibility is one of the major advantages in this particular sensor cloud. Next comes agility of services. So Sensor Cloud provides agile services, okay? So the users can be uh, access, the user can have a provision to access ex expensive technologies also within less cost, okay? So services, what they are provided through cloud or the Sensor Cloud will be very, very uh, favorable and less in cost such that more number of users can also be use this particular technology. So not only that high speed processing data can also be uh, provided within less cost or within the budget. Next advantage is resource optimization. Okay. So sensor cloud infrastructure enables the resource optimization by sharing the resources. Okay. So for whenever the users are using some several kind of applications, n number of resources can be used for n number of applications, okay? So every time the cloud enables, uh, the every time the user enables the particular uh, cloud service, okay? So those services will be allotted within very, very uh, less cost and that too, they can access those particular resources for n number of times within that same cost itself, okay? So it is the resource optimization is very well maintained in this particular sensor cloud infrastructure, okay? And the last and main important one is quick response time. Whenever the user is trying to access this particular cloud in real time, okay? The data uh, taken from the sensors, okay? Will be almost in real time. So at the same time, you can access the data, okay, in the virtual form through the physical uh, sensors, okay? So whenever you send some request, like the uh, whatever the data you require of a particular sensor, okay, within some milliseconds of time or some within some seconds of time, okay, there will be an uh, feedback of the data with respect to that particular sensor okay so almost in an 
real time scenario so quick response is one of the major advantage so all these advantages falls under sensor cloud